Good evening, Hackology, and welcome to tonight's episode. Uh, we're going to be looking at an application called Zia, written by a person called Phil Sung. And um, basically, Zia is a HTML5 video streaming service that's been written in Python. Uh, the website describes it as it's the media player that lets you bring your music anywhere to a to a computer or device with a web browser that runs HTML. The client runs in any browser that supports um, HTML5 technologies, no Flash, no Silverlight, no Applets, no plugins and no external players. So okay, with that over, now that you know what Zia is, um, what I've already done is I've made a an install script for you, which hopefully if the screen capture works you should be able to see on your screen now. So just put some notes at the top. These are all the modules that we need for Zia to work. Um, the uh, notes here just for Hackology. So the uh, installer will change to your home directory. Um, it will sudo apt get install all of these um, files. So it will install Python, current version for your system. It will install git, mpg123, flac, python, tagpy, forbis tools, and faad, which is an encoder, and python simple json. Okay, um, so after the installers install all of those dependencies, um, it will clone the git archive of Zia, which will bring it down local into your home directory, and then you'll need to run it and test it and give it a path to your home directory. So if I just quit out of this install.sh and just clear that, okay. So um, what I'm going to do now is run the install script and you will need to chmod and you'll need sudo chmod 755 the um, Zia installation script and hit him with a the password then once you've chmodded it to that you will be able to run the Zia install script by typing Zia install dot sh press enter runs it Hopefully it will say the, um, the uh, installation is completed without any errors. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, I've included some notes. So if we cd into the Zia directory that's just been created, uh, ls, and what we can do is dot forward stroke Zia, and then um, dot py. So we're going to execute Zia dot py, and we're going to give it dash dash path um, dash dash path and equals forward stroke home forward stroke t forward stroke music and hopefully if everything's gone according to plan with the install script you, you should get a similar output to what I can see here on my screen and if I just let's just resize this here so you guys can see, and I'm going to go to 127, and I'm going to go on port 8080, and hopefully your, your server will be running and you'll be able to play music from it. So if I just click this link, check that it's all up and running, that's brilliant. Okay, so the server's up and running, and what I'm going to do is pause that, and we're going to... Now, um, I'm going to show you a screenshot. Go to Dynamic Drive, create a HT access file, unless you have a HT access generator on your machine, um, which comes with Apache, I think. So go to Dynamic Drive, use their HT access, HT password generator, make a HT access file, which should look something like this. So I'm going to nano .ht access. And in here I've got a password of I'm a noob and username of noob. So you can see the format of the HD access file. And what you want to do is save that in the Zia directory. I don't have permission because I haven't sudoed in and I've got some weird permissions on these directories. So um, once you've made your HT password file, then what you need to do is execute um, the following command. In this window, it's in another window. Um, so what you need to do then is execute dot forward stroke zia dot pi dash dash basic auth um, file 
basic underscore auth underscore file equal to forward stroke home tz or wherever your um, ht access file is and then run that <coughs> okay it would help if we're in the right directory cd zia so go back up we'll run that command and you can see here now it says using basic auth handler so once you've done that you can test that it's working by going to the address and you should have a username and password box pop up so if we just type noob and i'm a noob into there and firefox has got it and we've got the web page just check that everything's working okay so we'll play a different song as well everything is working so everything's hunky dory you've just installed zia give yourself a pat on the back so now what i need to do is close zia down and well, what i'm going to show you now is the cron tab line on my server so if i've got the window open to the server now which i have oh yes i have so here is the cron tab line that you'll need to add to run Zia. Now, at the moment, I'm running it locally, so I'm not using the auth, and I'm not doing any port forwarding from the router to set that up so you could access your music collection from your external IP. What you'd need to do is um, add some port forwarding rules onto your router and forward it to the IP address of the machine that's running Zia. Um, but I'm not doing that. I look, quite like it locally, and it means I can access all my music in, um, <coughs> in every room of the house but I only have to keep one copy and obviously keep backups but um, one copy on a server is a lot easier to manage than one copy on every single machine and device as well so um, Hackology I know that's been a rushed episode but there's so much to get in um, I bet you I've forgotten something I even made some notes for the show so um, yeah that's been Zia I really hope you enjoy um, this episode and streaming the music and I hope the install script works well for you um, it said to Pi 2.5, Pi 2.6, I ran this with 2.7 and everything seemed to work fine. Um, I'd be interested to know if you guys install it with version 3 upwards, um, whether it works. And um, yeah, peace. Have fun hacking. We'll be back really soon. And uh, more coolness, as always. <clears throat>